So what I'm going to show you real quick is how to work on cleaning the buttons or fixing the connection uh, that you might, if you have like a bad connection on one of your buttons. Um, basically, it only takes two tools to be able to do this. Uh, I use a fork <laughs> and a Q-tip. That's really about it. Uh, and really all you have to do is just put the fork under one of the buttons and push up a little bit. It might take a little bit of um, a little bit of pressure to be able to do this, but boop, all you do is you put a little bit of pressure and the button comes right off, right? Uh, and then you just kind of like clean around the inside of both. You can tell this one hasn't been used as much because there isn't as much like dirt around it, but the more you use the buttons, the more it, uh, it basically uh, accumulates in there. And then it takes a small second to like just adjust it right to where it was, and then you're going to put pressure and put it back in. It feels a lot better after you just even pop it out and pop it back in. But yeah, it just takes a little bit of pressure, and then it pops right out. If you're having rough connections with your buttons, that's it. Um, and that's really about it. So yeah, I'm doing this with a second controller of mine right now because uh, my first controller is experiencing overstrom issues. So I, since I was having issue with one of the buttons, I figure I might as well try this and see if it helps. If you're having issues with your buttons at home, do the same thing. It's really quick. This one's actually not taking very long at all because there's not much on there. Uh, there's only one button in particular giving me trouble, but I figure if I've got this off, I might as well do them all kind of thing. Uh, and if you look here, uh, you can also see there's little, if my camera wants to focus, see here on the edge right there, there's like a little ridge there. There's only one way that this will fit in, so you can't put it in a wrong way. You don't ever have to worry about the button going in a wrong way or you putting it in backwards or something like that. There's only one way it'll fit. Sometimes it takes a little bit of finagling to get it back in to the hole, but just a little bit of pressure, and it goes back down. This is the button right here. This one is the one that's getting, giving me trouble, so let me pop this off real quick and clean it and make sure this this is the one that I'm really worried about. The rest isn't. As soon as we get done with this, we'll get back to, get back to gaming. And let's get this back in there. But really, that's about it. Just pop it off, clean, and you're done. That's really about it. Fork, Q-tip, done. Very easy.